Yo, may mak kat tengah rana we. Nen bukur pan ngaman ngam betir. Mau mau pulang arak kodi al. Ia reta. Pilih ngukup pangol. Tiak kar mau nemang lidah raja al nirpan ka bukawatun nakur nakur limur tu. Pangai mana pan mereka tu alim alang malang jarikan. Tiak ki. Ka ngarak kuna kundi al ada daran. Mulakan orang dan kita untuk melanggar tu nukung ul kengarat tuang na. In short, it's thank you for this important opportunity to talk today about treaty. I am sure some of you must be wondering why these people still talking about treaty after so long. It's been 30 years since the Baronga Statement and there has not been much progress. In fact, many things seem to be going backwards. In, 30, in the last 30 years, Yolngu have felt the full force of oppression, government policies like the intervention, super shires, English-only schools have impacted greatly on our well-being. We are being pushed to suicide and we suffer from ill health, low education levels and un high incarceration rates. Whoever it, whoever it was that invented the intervention and then even worse, whoever it was that invented stronger futures, those people tried to kill our culture. They really wanted it dead, but we are still here. We are nursing wounds, but we are still here, fighting until we are hurt. Balandawais, Ngapagiwais are failing us, strangling our spirit. Balanda governance is failing us. It is time for self-governance. Those things we have been fighting for for 30 years, they haven't gone away and they will not go away. So, what is then? What is this thing we keep fighting for? What is treaty? Well, let's, let me start with the beginning. Let me start at the beginning. You can't understand treaty until you first understand sovereignty. This is right at the start. If you can't understand sovereignty, when you will, then you will never understand treaty. To be clear, Yolngu will never conquer. Our culture, our language, our law remains intact. We are a sovereign people. For some, for some people, sovereignty is a scary word. It frightens people. But they hear this. What they hear is that we want to get rid of you, to make you go away. Tell, well, that's not true. That's not right. That's not what you all mean when they talk about sovereignty. We are not looking for to send anyone away. We know you live here too. We know this is your home and our home. Let me give you an example that might help you to understand what you will mean when they talk about sovereignty. You see, we Yulmo have had treaties before. This is not our first time. For many years, for a for long, long time, we had treaty with the Macassans. We worked in partnership and trade with them. It was a good relationship. This, is, this relationship started with recognition. It started with an understanding of each other's sovereignty as separate nations. The Macassians, they came here and they started fishing, but then not long after, they realized there were already people here and they knew 
they couldn't continue without talking to those people first. Straight away, they, rec they recognized the sovereignty of the Yolngu people that were already living here. It is the same day we were, we were here at the start and we haven't gone anywhere. The, the, right, the right way is to come and talk to us, to negotiate with us as equals and to work out an agreement for the future so that our authority is clearly understood. Sovereignty is not about control, it is about power. It is about recognizing that we are a real nation with real governance, real laws, and real authority. Right now, this federal government does not recognize our sovereignty at all. It does not see what we have to say is important, let alone recognize Aboriginal people as sovereign nations. Look at what happened with the Uluru Statement. Now, I wasn't there at Uluru, but I participated in the discussions when they were happening in Darwin. But those people that were there at Uluru, they came from across Australia. They sat down and they talked and all agreed on, on that one, one statement to give to the Prime Minister. It is, a good, it is a good pathway and the Prime Minister should think again and change his mind. The point of, point of truth-telling is that it is time for everyone to tell the truth about our history, where the government failed to, failed to tell the truth about invasion, ma ma massacre, and sovereignty. They are unlawful. The Euro Statement creates a path to right, right these wrongs. It is time for us all to recognize the law of this land and abide by it. It is time for us to be truthful and employ Yorongo Morongo. I acknowledge the Northern Territory government are, being, are bringing serious conversations to the table, but so far they are yet to include the people. Governments must recognize the nations and allow for traditional decision-making processes, and this will require resources. Ultimately, we want the big one, a treaty with the federal government. That is long overdue, but treaties of different types at all levels of government and recognized sovereignty will bring vast improvement. Our success as a sovereign nation is well documented for, for thousands of years. We live with good health, strong in our identity, strong in our language, strong in our law. We nurtured the land, the creatures, and the people with knowledge and wisdom that had been passed from our elders, ancestors, and the creator spirits. We did not know suicide, depression, drug addiction, family violence. We hold on to the past knowledge now, and we fight for treaty. We fight for treaty to create a space to maintain our culture, to become modern Yulmo people with the wisdom of our ancestors and the tradition, traditions of our law. When I say space, I am talking about the space to create modern Yolngo society, a space to determine our education aspirations, a space to create our Yolngo models of employment, space to resolve land tenure disagreements, space for Yolngo elders and leaders to maintain law and order, 
and use our programs to solve, to resolve family violence, rehabilitate offenders of all crimes, and provide healing for victims of drug, drug abuse and depression. We need space to prioritize prioritize resource distribution based on our determination such as such as alleviating overcrowded housing and supporting homeland developments. We can work in partnership to to further develop programs that that prevent kidney dialysis, heart disease and other illness through education founded on two ways knowledge. The resources on our country should be available for our economic benefit through local, local owned fisheries, crocodile farms, tourism, etc. Support the development of sustainable Yulmo businesses, creates a pathway for our success. This is the space that we need to begin and determine our future. It is a space for genuine partnership between sovereign nations. And it is, it has to start with returning power to Yulmo leaders and elders where it, be, where it belongs without manipulation and intervention. We, we have a system of governance and this system of governance will determine our future under your more control. Men and women, elders and leaders, standing strong and protecting our people and our culture. I want to finish with something positive. I want to take you back to the Macassans before I finish to remind to remind you all that we have done it before. We have been fighting for a long time now, but treaty will happen again. There is hope. Thank you. Thank you.